Turn off your TVs, run for your lives. It's over. They didn't put you on this planet just to give up. If Uncle Joey could do it, I can rule the world. That's what you gotta be thinking. Welcome back to Chile! Uh oh. Uh oh. There he is. Johnny Alcula. <laughs> Mom makes hot smokers. It's uh, September 11th. My heart goes well, out to everybody. 22 years later, it's still a disaster, but <laughs> we're still back. You know what I'm saying? We're still kicking ass, America. What's up, Lee Sayat? I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the check in. Well, I'm ready to go. You didn't take an edible yet? I'm, it's right here. See, this is. And everyone says I don't take shirts. shit. You're making those fake ones. Listen. See, do it. Think that it ain't think, think, think. What's up, buddy? How was your weekend? My weekend was great. What'd mm. you do? You didn't do no stand up, right? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Up. When is your next little fucking hoop de doop? This weekend. This weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday, I'm at the Saratoga Comedy Works. That's how we do it, brother. Oh, yeah. And then it's next great. week, huh? Go ahead, I'm sorry. Sorry, next week I'm at uh, the Chicopee Comedy Loft on Thursday. Look at you, you bad motherfucker. That's From right. From Chicopee to New York to, Hol to L.A. to Reno, back to the ghetto. <clears throat> Someday. I love, I love it, brother. Look at you. International Lee Sayat starting his tour in fucking Battlefield Israel. Oh, I, they would hate me in Israel. They'd like you more than they like me. Uh, what do you I'm like a Jew that went bad. But the Cubans like you more than they like me, so it all works out for the better. How's the girlfriend? How's the kids? Everybody jumping up and down? Everyone's doing everyone's doing great. It's been fun, like her with the kids. I love, I was thinking about this. Do you love pissing Mercy off? Not really. No, I love pissing her kids off. I fucking talk, you know, I torture her a little bit. You know, I do things that bother her a little bit, but I don't push the issue too much. Every once in a while, I scare her, you know. How do you scare her? You just fucking stand outside the door when she comes <laughs> out. Always. I got different masks and shit. Oh, you have masks? Like a voodoo mask he brought back from Colombia. He always brings me a mask from these places to fight the demons. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I love, I, I, li I like to tell them, like, I'm Taylor Swift's best friend. And they freak out. And then I you know you're not. Then you call me up and I go, I'm Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's not Taylor Swift, you fucking liar. Oh, I love doing that. <clears throat> so football but, season has oh, it was fucking great. arrived, man. Thank God. And it was a hell of a fucking week so far. I mean, I turned it around. I started the week off with Detroit. Mm -hmm. Just took a chance with it because what the fuck? And then right. uh, I don't before you I get to Sunday. You gave me shit for Saturday, and I wanted to defend myself. What shit for Saturday? Because I, I don't know anything about college football, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to have some fun betting. I'm trying to have something to talk about. And I had a random, I had an odd number in my account. I had 143. I don't, I hate, I don't like odd numbers. So I placed a $13 bet, and you gave me shit for like 30 minutes. What's wrong? I don't know anything about the game. You don't ever place like a $10 bet. What's wrong with a 13? It was 13 $13. First off, <laughs> you're Jewish. No Jewish man gets annoyed by those three pennies, okay? I don't know what kind of Jew you are. 43 cents is 43 fucking cents, okay? And you hold on to it. $13, how do you end up with it? Listen, you bet Colorado. Do you think I know about college football? I know dick about college football. I know that the excitement... Is great up in Colorado. Yeah. Now, so I had nothing to lose. They were playing in Boulder on a fucking beautiful goddamn day. That's the Lord's country right now. Did Denver win on Sunday? No, they lost. Where at home or away? I don't know. The I think they were. I think they were home. You know, it's weird when Denver plays at home and they got a good team. One o'clock game, the Lord's Day. I don't give a fuck if you show up with Jesus and the disciples and Pontius Pilate. You're not beating the fucking... I lived there for fucking 20 years. You know what this reminded me of? You remember the the U where you said the Miami players were more, more popular than the Dolphins players? I think that's what's going on in, in two weeks. 
with Colorado over the Bron. I don't think I know they like the Broncos, but people hate Russell Wilson, and I think I think they oh, I think they okay. love Deion like, Sanders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Colorado, listen, uh, Boulder. I worked in the car wash, and they were huge donors. They went to every game. They went to the Orange Bowl. They went to practices. You know, the more money you give, the more you hang out. I mean, if you pay two thousand. You cut the football players' toenails if you want. They'll, they'll <laughs> you money for anything, those fucking boosters. And I, I had never seen that before. Like when I lived in Boulder, I had never seen people that didn't have kids on the team who traveled with the team and like went to all their functions. And it was pretty good to see. The old me would have said it was kind of geeky. Right. But no, it's 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 nice. That's what they're into. Some people smoke dope. Some people want to go watch college football games. So I don't know much about college, but I know Colorado is a beautiful fucking college. Boulder is phenomenal. I want to take my daughter now just to open her eyes, just so she could see what the fuck. I'm going to take her there into Vanderbilt when I go to Nashville next time for the holidays. Just so, you know, because nobody ever took us when we were in high school or the eighth grade or the fifth grade. And showed us what life could be like. This is a fucking university, you know. And then they'll take you to fucking like Boston City College, and it's like in in Southie, you know. The admissions office has no teeth, and you get this, you, know, you go in there in Southie. The guy's drinking with a cigarette in his hat, with a no smoking sign right behind him. He don't give a fuck, and he's talking to you with the cigarette in his hand and shit. So oh, yeah, that's the reason I went with Colorado. Because because of Boulder being a pretty place? No, because Boulder just has a weird energy. And Dion brought even a weirder energy. Yeah. Dion brought a winning energy. And he's fired up. And he got the town fired up. Like, like it was the most expensive ticket this week. Uh, Nebraska, Colorado. How does he do that in two fucking weeks? That's crazy. Dion Sanders is a fucking motivator. He used to motivate himself to be the best every Sunday, and then he'd take a helicopter and go play baseball. You know, I mean, uh, whether he was an all-star or not or whatever, he still did that. And he's one of those guys. He's just a winner, dog. His his energy beats everything. Uh, you know, his energy and his likeness, he wants the players to have fun. 